Hold on, it's zoomed in more now that you're... Just reverse it out. No, it's still... Come on, mate. That's it's not my fault. fault. Action! Okay, so basically I'm going to start the first video off with uh, an easy one. And it's just going to be uh, a smoothie that I like to have. Um, and it's just basically full of lots of um, superfoods, um, like spices and stuff like that just stuff that you, i don't have every day but i'll have it with a meal two or three times a week so that it goes down um and it's in the pouch for a while and it can like do what it's supposed to do so uh the first ingredient everyone probably knows i've spoken about turmeric a lot it's just turmeric um, and basically i throw in i'll throw in the black pepper with the turmeric and i'll throw in that's more turmeric cayenne pepper um, and basically that absorbs or helps helps your body absorb out um, an ingredient in the turmeric called curcumins and basically curcumins is a really good anti-inflammatory it's fight it's got like cancer fighting agents in it um, it does a whole bunch of other stuff like it helps with arthritis helps with um, depression uh, Alzheimer's um, it's a bit of an antioxidant uh, and it's just something good to throw in your smoothie because it tastes like shit and you don't really want to like just throw it on a spoon and you know scoff it down uh, second thing is ginger just ground ginger uh, scientifically proven to treat nausea uh, and vomiting which generally we have a lot of gut problems so yeah it's just good to throw in there because it does help with just settling the deli and stuff um, and resetting uh, we'll throw blueberries in because they taste good. They're a good antioxidant. Uh, orange, high in vitamin C and it's good for the immune system. Because um, also with immune system, while it's on the top of my brain, I did do a bit of research. I did speak to my surgeon and my doctor. And with COVID and stuff, I did want to like hit the nail on the head with uh, the immune system being at 100%. And from what they told me, our immune systems, once we've fully recovered from surgery, should be running at like optimum. So they shouldn't be too, um, too different than normal people's. Uh, lemon, I'll throw a lemon in there just because it's easy to digest. And what else have we got? Kombucha, just because it tastes good. Good stuff with bacteria. Um, peanut butter, just to thicken it up. It gives it a bit of taste. Like, I mean, you can throw whatever you want in there, but I like to throw peanut butter in there. Um, what else? Dairy-free coconut yogurt. So I still don't really eat a lot of dairy. If any dairy, I'll just have um, lactose-free milk, which seems to work for me. And I try to minimalize, minimalize, minimalize what the amount of dairy and gluten that I have. So I'll still eat gluten, but I'll try to like not eat it every day. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to the yogurt. The yogurt is just a good probiotic. Um, and yeah, apparently that yogurt there stops diarrhea, which it must do. Uh, it promotes uh, a balanced, healthy gut bacteria, um, aids with digestion, and what else have we got? I think that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all ready. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all chopped up and yucky in this. You are rolling. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Um, also, I forgot to say, because I didn't write it down, I throw in um, spinach, antioxidant, and strawberries as well, just because it tastes good. And um, <clears throat> make sure you don't put too much cayenne pepper in, because that's pretty hot stuff. Like, yeah, I'm struggling right now. Um, I don't really have, like, I don't really do the whole measuring thing. I just throw in a couple of sprinkles of turmeric, a couple of sprinkles of black pepper, and um, a couple of sprinkles of uh, ginger. But yeah, make sure that you don't put a couple of sprinkles of uh, cayenne pepper in, just one little quick one. Otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be hot as. Um, I'm just gonna reiterate what I have in past videos. 
um, and that is supplements. So I still fast, so I don't have breakfast um, until about between 12 and like 2 p.m. Um, and I don't struggle, like I'm not hungry, I'm not tired, I just, it's just like a normality for me now. Uh, and I'll have my first meal at probably like 1.32, uh, which is pretty big, like I'll have like sushi or um, fish or chicken, like veggies and stuff, I still eat lots of veggies. Um, and I'll always have Metamucil beforehand, so basically I just get like a cup like this. Um, this stuff, the Metamucil is amazing, so I just use like the generic generic brand this stuff here it's good shit um, I'll just put like a teaspoon in so a heaped teaspoon and I'll fill that cup up to about there and then just throw that down and yeah basically that just makes everything a lot easier to deal with later on um, everything comes out pretty normal no runs I have, I have, the, I have the runs like once in once every three months. Um, but yeah, anyway, enough about me and my runs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, supplements. So I love Metamucil. I always have that stuff with me wherever I go. I just put in like a gym shaker. Um, I still take Gastro Stop, which is um, Lipramide, Lipramide um, like five milligrams. I have one of them in, uh, with the first meal and then one of them with the second meal. Um, I'll have garlic and horseradish, which is just like something to get rid of. Common, common colds and fish oil um, for your hair and nails and all that shit. Uh, and then ba basically that's it. Like the other thing that I will have will be hydrolyte, um, just for like, for, not fatigue, but just like you go outside in Australia in the middle of the summer and you mow the lawns and you're wrecked. You sweat like two liters of water. So um, yeah, I'll have hydrolyte year round. I'll probably have like two or three a day in summer and then maybe like three or four tablets over a week in winter because um, yeah I do surf a lot still and I still work I still work pretty much full time so I also wanted to talk about protein shakes because um, a lot of the boys and the girls in my group chat like probably 95% of them go to the gym and uh, the main question that pops up when someone gets J pouch because obviously we lose a lot of weight we look like shit for a bit is can I hit the gym and can I take like protein shakes and like carb shakes and stuff like that? Uh, personally, I don't because they don't agree with me. They're just full of sugar and they're full of things that I don't think pouches really respond well to. Um, and from like the last three or four years experience in my WhatsApp group from people on YouTube and a lot of the time from people on Instagram that have inboxed me, they get on these protein shakes and the amount of times they go to the toilet, their frequency just goes through the roof, man, because you, you're drinking this shit. And generally, like maybe the colon can handle it, but um, it's just my opinion, the pouch can't. Um, yeah, so I would steer clear of it personally, but I mean, everyone's got to try it because everyone's pouch is different, but that's just my honest opinion on it. Um, nothing wrong with it, just yeah. So yeah, I don't take protein shakes. Okay, cool. So the idea behind this video was basically just to um, show everyone else out there in the J Pouch community what uh, smoothie I believe works to keep my pouch healthy, um, avoid getting bad bacteria growing in there that'll potentially cause pouchitis. Um, all of this stuff here is just really good for you. Um, really good anti-inflammatory smoothie. It doesn't taste that good, but you can throw whatever you want in there to make it taste a lot better. Kombucha works really well, peanut butter works really well, um, oranges work really well, um, and whatever other fruit you want to throw in there really. But let us know what you want me to make a video on next. So, I mean, chuck a comment down. Um, I'll throw my new Instagram back up there. Um, if anyone's going to get uh, JPAT surgery or thinking they're gonna get JPAT surgery anytime soon, um, just DM me on Instagram or throw a comment down below. But yeah, the next video I'm going to make is on dating with a J pouch. So pretty much just little tips and tricks to make it like more comfortable for you. Um, like ease your mind that dating is pretty easy, the J pouch, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but just some things that I've done over the years um, that have made dating so much easier. All right, cool. I hope everyone enjoyed my uh, video. I know I'm not very good at doing it, but I will practice. Um, yeah, 
give us a like, um, subscribe to it so that you don't miss one, and then throw a comment down below um, and give me some feedback and let me know what you want to hear. Uh, yeah, cool.